Hi there, my name is Cam and welcome to another Salesforce Marketing Cloud Functions in 5 Minutes. Today we'll be looking at the lookup function in AMP script and how we can use it to retrieve values from your data extensions and use it in your cloud pages and emails. So let's start off with having a quick look at the documentation. The lookup function contains four properties. The data extension name that you want to look up, the column that you want to return a value from, and then the name value pair in the third and fourth properties. So the example function shown on the page would do something like this. It would target the data extension called postcode, returning a value from the CT column where the matching postcode field is equal to 46016. And as shown in the example, this should return the value of Anderson. Using this same data extension, we could tweak things a bit and instead look up the column for state where the postcode value is equal to 30824. This should return the value of Georgia. You can add additional name value pairs in an AND clause to refine the search conditions further. For example, we can add the values state and Indiana in the fifth and sixth properties to refine the search criteria further. This can be useful in case there's a chance of duplicates in your data. The lookup function can be used as an inline AIM script function outputting the returned value. Alternatively, you can also use it in an AIM script code block and set the output as a variable. And you can prepend the ENT dot to the start of your data extension name if you want to search the shared data extensions as well. And best of all, the lookup function can be used in all parts of Marketing Cloud that allow for the use of AMP script. So let's see the lookup function in use. Here are two copies of the lookup function on a cloud page. Firstly, as an inline AMP script function, returning the value for Astro's email address. And secondly, as an AMP script code block, where we're setting Astro's name in a variable, then using it in a lookup function, which we're then saving as another variable, which we can then output later on the cloud page. The same function syntax can be used in your emails too. Note that it's common to use subscriber attributes, such as your subscriber keys or email addresses, in lookup functions to return related data about your subscribers. And finally, let's take a look at the strengths and weaknesses of the lookup function. On the positive side, the lookup function is super simple to use and is also much faster at returning single fields than the lookup rows equivalent. On the downside, the lookup function's criteria is limited and doesn't do well with multiple matches in the same data extension. It can also become a lot less efficient than the lookup rows function if you're trying to return more than three fields from the same data extension. So there you have it, the AMP script lookup function in under five minutes. If this video has helped, then please throw it a like and let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Salesforce Marketing Cloud functions in five minutes.